you hear that? And I'm not talking about the wind. He's not hungry. He is not hungry. I stowed some water, did some uh, putting away of things. The man is not hungry. So, I'm pretty happy about that. He's got a lot of moose meat, and then he has a lot of moose meat. We know what is going to be for breakfast. I'm going to have him eat so much food that he is encumbered because of weight gain. All right, so tomorrow, just to pass some time, I'm going to go wolf hunting and check out a cave. Look for some saplings. Now that, like, I don't really need a lot of saplings. All right, good idea. Good idea. Get the stuff off the floor first. Could end up being useful. Actually, it's going to be useful now. So, we're going to stare at the workbench for a second. Put in uh, a couple hours on that. Two and a half, sure. Uh, with the knife, because it's in better shape. I'm going to go. I think I'm going to leave my whetstone alone. I'm not even going to even... Oh, I thought I drank something. <laughs> oh. I've got a liter in my backpack. But yeah, I'll tell you the story of my first real successful interloper run. 70 days. 70 days. I'd only made it 14, I think, before this. And I made it all the way to 70 days on interloper. And then I went into the Pleasant Valley farmstead and stood in the kitchen. And then went and... Made dinner and stuff and came back and she had died of dehydration. So, yeah. So if you ever think, <laughs> because I didn't pause the game, if you don't, if you think, man, that was dumb. Just, <laughs> ah, the time I killed myself in Pleasant Valley. Oh, and, and, and at that time, you know, I was so happy I was that successful. And honestly, I don't think I deserved to be 70 days. It was one of those probably interloper runs where everything just kind of goes your way and doesn't really stop going your way. And you get like, you know, that happens like one in a thousand times. And I got mine really early because I don't think I was actually uh, skilled enough at the game to be uh, surviving 70 days. Yeah, make myself a tea. That was a, that was kind of a tough move. What do I do here? Last time, well, let's look in the inventory here, see what we've got. So I am in pretty good shape for a run down to Pleasant Valley to grab more cloth, uh, fix up some things. And that's, yeah, instead of going uh, wolf hunting, I'm going to go um, cloth gathering. So I can slim this down a fair bit. Not like a fair, like not a huge amount, but. Uh, hmm. Let's not do that. Let's do this instead. Okay, so I've got, you know, a bunch of matches. Hacksaw. Do I take my hacksaw with me? It'll just kind of constrain me on my on my weight. 
Hmm. Okay, well, I won't need a can opener. behind four five six seven eight so you guys can stick around I'm going for cloth I'll probably do a little bit of clothes fixing in Pleasant Valley I want to well, see I'm thinking about maybe letting my hatchet go um, not because I don't like it. Um, mm, nah, I'm gonna sharpen it up. I I did. I was kind of thinking about letting it go, and because uh, on these two tools, I can use an entire whetstone, and they still won't be at a hundred percent. But I thought about just letting it go and going to forlorn muskeg and making some more. Okay, so I will be right back around noon. Because I'm going to sharpen up some stuff. Wait till the sun can come up high enough for me to make my bow. And then, so then you don't have to watch me do this so I'll see you in a couple of minutes so there's my new bow got it I'll just uh, kind of lay it gently on the bed um, I have other bows kind of ready to go might as well start cleaning some stuff up make my uh, make my place look a little nicer so um, I could use this well yes um, yeah, this guy's at 47%, which is pretty good. Um, since I can't fish down there, and if I get stuck, I'm going to bring a book that I can read, right? I'm going to do that to myself. I mean, I could start a fire with it, but we know how that goes. I just carry a book around with me. I get so used to not burning the instructional books. Okay. Enough chit chat. No, I am not killing a wolf. Yep, nope, there's not one out there. Ah, it's. There's wood in there. It's a perfect day for fishing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, uh, you a kilogram? All right, it's coming with me. Normally I don't. Normally I. Normally I never do. Okay, and um. Whenever I leave, oops, yep, yep, let's get the cursor on there. It's hard to see with all this white background. Sometimes I wish it was like a, I don't know, a yellowy, or you could kind of mix that color in. But, uh, that's what I do is I unset the snares and just leave them in the spot. Because if I'm not back for three days and they 
can get damaged or whatever, you know. They catch something and it just disintegrates too. Like, that's just a waste. So, you know, I just like to... Just leave them there. They are my Timberwolf Mountain Snares. I was actually really surprised with how well one snare did. Mm, no, no. Don't take more stuff. So this is a run basically just back to the Pleasant Valley Farmstead to get uh, some cloth, some uh, a toolbox, maybe kind of look around seriously for some scrap metal. I usually ignore the stuff, bring some scrap metal back up with me. That's why I should have taken the saw because I should have taken it. Escape this cold. Broken down some metal, but I have a plan. If I can't find any, but I'm also uh, gonna hit the farm. Not the farm, stead. The farmstead, yes, but not the, uh, gonna hit the, uh, the barn. That's what I'm gonna do. So. Die if I don't warm up soon. He's cold. Unless something uh, incredibly interesting happens. I'm going to see you down at the, uh, the prepper's, uh, cache. Here we are. I have some more birch saplings here. Some wood. A couple of torches. You know, the usual stuff kind of following me around. Okay, so I'm not that exhausted, but I will grab an hour's sleep. Warm up. Oh, it's not doing it to me, is it? If there's a blizzard, I'm stuck here. Because I can't... Can't make it... Like, this is a kind of a long journey outside. Huh. Uh, it's probably almost worse than a blizzard because it's deceptively nice. Alright, my friend. Alright, let's go. Hey. That was an interesting foot maneuver. Yeah. Problem with weather like this is you almost think, oh, it's not blizzarding. And then you go outside and... Yeah. Out of the wind. Feels, only feels like minus 10. It's two downward arrows. As soon as I hit, get hit by the wind again, back out here and see what it's like. Minus 18. So that's still like minus, what's that, 42, 43 degrees Celsius is your kind of constant. It's a nice day. Uh, okay. I am going to have to make water at some point, so I might as well prepare by bringing my own wood. I thought about taking wood back, but again, carrying wood is just, you know, if you've got a few sticks and know where there's an indoor fireplace, you can get yourself enough water to hopefully get through to get more wood on your own. You know, you kind of operate out of a base when you're doing outdoor lumberjack activities. 
that's also why Pleasant, uh, Pleasant Valley, ugh. That's why, uh, Mystery Lake is so nice because, and, uh, and Coastal Highway is the amount of indoor wood chopping down you can do. A lot of it by hand. Okay. Cold, I get it. I'm actually really sympathetic. Because I haven't really experienced, you know, I've experienced temperatures where it feels like minus 40 with the wind chill. I didn't want to be outside. And I did my best to stay out of the wind when I was in those conditions, but man. My fingers feel numb. I don't think he could have done this in a blizzard, another 10 degrees colder. Even with his fancy new ear wrap. Now, I don't know where the resonant wolf guy is. So cold. Usually he's just lay down for stumbling bit. around over there. Ah, oh, it's a sign. I think I can use this. Yes. Yes, you can. Oh my goodness, something in a can. We're going to eat like a king. Like, you'll notice I wasn't too worried. I figured if I just had my gut full for this tour down into the Pleasant Valley, uh, a few cattails on me, I should be good, you know, to for the whole there and back, so. Whew. If I need it. But if I bring back, you know, 30 pieces of cloth, well, that's three kilograms of cloth. So I got to be mindful of my, my weight restrictions because, you know, oddly enough, I kind of miss that sound. The skis and work on. Oh, let's not let's not go crazy on the angle here. I wouldn't be that concerned. I'm probably going to miss even if I do take a shot at you. That's actually a really good way to get practice. Not when you're freezing to death. Now that I'm in 
Ye old. Did I leave anything on the floor? Nothing really nice for myself, right? Right, I believe there's a couple of clothing items. Yeah. Uh, both things I probably... Yeah, I wouldn't really need. Okay. Hmm. Do I want to just, uh, how do I want to spend my time? Do I want a nap? Well, yeah, yeah, I should have a nap. Okay, come on, weather. Just hold off. Just hold off for just a little bit longer. I'm not asking for much. I'm asking for another... Uh, you know, a couple minutes of no blizzard here. Ah, uh, it's still gonna be bracingly cold. Minus 15, you know what? He can live with that. Feels like minus 40 out there. Okay, all right, bring it on. I'll be outside for a little bit. Man, is it ever sunny? This is nice. One thing I don't want to do is go... I want to, but I don't want to. Normally what I'll do is if I'm going to the barn, I'll just, just cut right across, right over there. And... Uh, and then just um, walk the field because it's nice and open and I can see if there's any uh, wolves you know hanging out at the barn you can get some high ground mostly from this hill up over here actually I don't want to go too far down towards the uh, birch forest because that place frightens me it really does. I don't go in there. He knows when you're in his forest. This bear is different. I don't like this one. All the other ones I feel like I've got an edge on. This one, it's it's all him. Can't outrun him. You, you, you can't really hide from him. He doesn't... There's no really good spot in there to climb up and... cheaply and easily kill him like I did that moose yes like I did that moose <laughs> poor moose but I'm going to wear that moose hide sh the satchel like with no shame on that because he, he had me stranded I, I couldn't get down Yep, and this is about as close as I want to get to that forest. Cold is making my head feel thick. I don't know if he's in there if they put the moose in there. I don't know if they put the moose in there. I know the moose sure so shows up up there. My first encounter with the moose was first or second encounter because they're hard to find sometimes, especially when they first start out and you don't know 
Where are these guys? Like, like, God damn I crazy. walk past things like vehicles and tractors at this point because I don't really need. Um, oh sure. I don't really need a, you know, a two car or anything, and unless it's a pack of matches. I'm not really interested. Ah, why am I doing that? Sometimes I actually have to tell myself to stop harvesting stuff and picking. I'm freezing to death. I need to, you know, get the legs pumping a bit here. Who do we have over here? This guy. Trust me, you want nothing to do with me. Thing is, he could be conspicuously walking so that a family member can get a clear shot at me. Yep, while well, you're watching one, it's the other one that comes up and gets you. Now, there's never any, um... There's never any arrows here on Interloper. Never seen them. Oh. The chocolate bar. Is it food? Or? It is food. Oh, and a piece of cloth. And that's what I came here for. Well, this was a nice tractor. Maybe I will look at the other tractor. Probably not. But yeah, that's the thing. I'm not really looking in vehicles very much because they don't have what I need. And what I need is really not much. I need whetstones. But. Ta-da. That's my other reason for hitting the barn is to check for a whetstone. And there is one. I think there's another one or two out there in the world that I need to find. Oh, there they are. Um, the barn's a really good starting uh, location to go to. Um, I tend to overlook it because it doesn't. But, uh, you know, I've come all this way to fix my hacksaw. What have we here? You've got a brand new hacksaw. Oh, harvesting information on plants. How to basically start yourself a farm. Oh, no, 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 no. We're going to pick that right up. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Probably. And another toolbox. Oh, the long dark. It's pretty much got the best sense of humor of any video game I've ever seen. Like, it just seems that way. You know, of course I'm going to the barn to look for. Just look it over and grab a stem. And more than what I need is just laying around. I don't even need to make it to the farmhouse. Now I'm overladen with wood, but I got the stuff I need to make uh, plenty of water. Hmm. No pry bar. I'm quite sure about that. Because sometimes in this place you'll come across also a pry bar. This stuff will come handy. Ta-da! Now that is going to be some great reading. I'm I'm excited 
Where he's stuck on me. All right. Up, oh, up, dip. How come I can get no further? Okay, that was very bizarre. I've never gotten stuck there like that before. Wonder if this is any good to eat. It isn't. But good on you for inquiring. Can I check this drawer? Yes. Surrounded by snow. Nothing to drink. I was kind of coming to look for that, but now I'm kind of uh, a little bit torn now that I've like, well, oh, that's too bad. Think about it, though, if you were to start out in Pleasant Valley, this farm would have provided you with not a lot in the way of clothing, but you would have gotten a pry bar, an emergency stem, a hacksaw, some wood, a little bit of food, because the dog food wouldn't have turned bad. That one's for Yari. Got to get some feathers. All right. What to do here? Well, I think we're gonna sleep on the floor or maybe in the truck after I make some water. he's gonna need his sleep so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time until then keep surviving um we're gonna run over to the pleasant valley farmstead grab ourselves some cloth quality tools i'm gonna take the quality tools up the mountain and uh yeah. That didn't work. Oh, look at that. 95% and a no-go at that. But anyhow, I'm going to make up some water for my time down here. Because I do have to... We'll have to spend a day or two down in Pleasant Valley. Probably one more night at the very least. And then be on my way. So, thanks again for watching. And I will see you um, the next time when we uh, get over to the farmhouse. Gather some more resources. Take it back up to the hill. Hopefully then my moose hide will be nice and done up. I can get uh, stuff set up that way. Get my satchel finished. Jeez, I'll be able to carry so much extra stuff. All right. See you next time.